Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Sullivan. Today we're going to work on section 6.2, surface area of prisms. If you want your book, turn to pages 258, 259, and you will definitely need a calculator. Pause now and get it if you don't already have it. Welcome back. Okay, in class today you worked with something called surface area by counting all the squares that you saw on each side of a particular shape. Well, what we're going to kind of move you toward is working with a formula to find the surface area instead. So the technical definition of surface area of a rectangular prism is the sum of the areas of the bases and lateral faces. So bases usually means top and bottom. And all the other sides, those are your lateral faces. So here is the formula for calculating it. It looks pretty serious. Go ahead and take a gander at that, and I'm going to translate it for you. So when you have a rectangular prism, it's three-dimensional. You have a length, a width, and a height. When you unfold the box, you get something called a net, more like a pattern. And when you unfold it, what you should see are six rectangles. And what you're going to be doing is calculating the area of each of these six rectangles and then adding them all up, and that will be your total surface area. So here's kind of a walkthrough of how you would do that. So in finding the surface area of a rectangular prism, the first thing you're going to do is, do is identify the length, width, and height. Literally, just label each piece of the rectangular prism with an L, a W, and an H, just like this one looks right here. Then you're going to substitute the values into this formula. What this formula says is that the big capital S is surface area is equal to two times the length times the width plus two times the length times the height plus two times the width times the height. Have that memorized tomorrow. JK. Okay, <laughs> then list the result in square units. Anytime you're dealing with any type of area, you're working in square units. All right, so let's take a peek at this first example. So the first thing we're gonna do is identify a length, a width, and a height. So literally length, width, height. I'm going to write that big formula that we're going to calculate 2 times the length times the width, 2 times the length times the height, and 2 times the width times the height. And all I'm going to do is plug in these numbers that I have labeled with an L, a W, and an H. So 2 times length is 3, width is 5. 2 times the length is 3, the height is 6. 2 times the width of 5 and the height of 6. You might be asking, why is the 2 in every single one of them? Well, the way we work this out, you can only see three of the sides of this rectangle, but you know that there are three other sides there that you just can't see. The top and bottom are the same, the left and right are the same, and the front and the back are the same. So that's why we use a 2 to just double the calculation that we get. Let me let you in on a little secret. If you type this whole thing into your calculator, it's very smart, it knows order of operations. It's gonna calculate all the multiplication first. This would give you 30. This would give you 36. And this would give you 60. Type it all in. You end up with 126 inches squared. That is the surface area of that rectangular prism. All right, look at your next example. Length, width, and height, just label them, L, W, H. And then you plug these numbers into that big nasty formula I got. Two times nine times four. Plus two times nine times six. Plus two times the width. <sighs> Every time. <laughs> four times, what am I looking for? The height, which is six. Maybe I should have written that formula out here. Two length width, two length height, two width height. Sorry about that. And then I just went and plugged in all those numbers. All right, you could type this all into your calculator, double check before you press enter that you typed everything in right. But when I calculate this, this would give me 72, 108, 48, add them all up, you get 228 meters squared, because we're dealing with area. 
All right, that was the easy part. If you flip your paper over, welcome, welcome to the surface area of a triangular prism. So that means that two of its set bases are, or its two bases, the top and bottom, are triangles. So the area of a triangle, which we talked about, can be found by taking the base times height and cutting it in half, divide by two, because a triangle is half of a rectangle. So here's, here's the routine. Find the area of the triangular bases using base times height divided by two. Then it says to multiply the result by two because you have two of them. Then you're going to be asked to find the area of each of the three remaining rectangles. Add the amounts up from steps one and two together. The sum is the surface area. Don't forget to square the unit. So the idea is that we're gonna find the area of each of the five sides of the triangular prism. So those of you who have me for your teacher know that I'm geometrically challenged. So this is very difficult for me and it might be for some of you too. We're gonna take this piece by piece and find the area of each of the pieces here. So if you look at this very carefully, the two triangles are the same. So we're gonna get take care of those. I'm gonna redraw them separately because I have to. You might not need to. So if you look at the dimensions of the triangles, it's four by three. So base times height would be 12, and then cut that in half gives you six, which means the area of each of these triangles is six. Then you notice this rectangle right here. This dimension is a three. We need to know what this dimension is. And if you peek over here at the triangular prism that we were originally given, do you see that this side is six? We're given a six right there, which means all of these longer sides are sixes. So this rectangle right here would look just like that, three by six. And its area then is three times six, which is 18. All right, let's take this piece over here. It's a little easier to see. This one is four by six, which has an area then of 24. Then we've got this guy in the middle. We don't really have any dimensions written. We know this one's for sure six. This one we don't see yet represented, but do you see where it came from in the original piece? This side is five, which means this rectangle is six by five, which then has an area of 30. So to find the overall surface area, we're just going to add up all five of these areas. So I'm gonna take six and six, 18, 24, and 30, and add them all up. And that will be my overall surface area, which is 84 meters squared. Okay. J Tron's giving me the nod. And there's another bell. Seriously, you guys aren't even here today and they're running the bells. Yep, it's Thursday. We're doing this on Thursday. Okay. Um, here is <laughs> another triangular prism for us. I am going to take this apart and show all the five different pieces because that's what I have to do. First, I'll get the triangles out of the way. Remember that the two triangles are identical. So the front of this is four by eight. And then we have another triangle that must also be four by eight. So the area of this triangle would be four times eight, which is 32, and then cut it in half, which would make it 16. So both of these have an area of 16. Do you see this little side right here? Should look like a square to you, and it is. That side is four by four which has an area then of another 16. All right, how about this top piece? This is four by 10. Oopsie, I'm running off the page, sorry guys. That has an area then of 40. We have the bottom of the rectangle, or the triangular prism, you see is four by eight. Kind of tough to see in there. I'm going to write that in. Four by eight, which would be 32. All right, and I think that's all the pieces. There should be five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yay. All right, so then we're going to add these all up in one big addition problem. 16 plus 
plus 16 plus 16 plus 32 plus 40. Type that all in and you should end up with 120 centimeters squared. Whew. There's one more. <laughs> all right. This one looks like a piece of cheese. All right, so I'm going to draw all the sides. I'm going to start with the triangles. If you look very carefully, your triangle is base and height are 5 and 12. Area then, oops, that's not a triangle, is 5 times 12 cut in half, which would be 60 divided by 2, which makes the area of each of these triangles 30. How about this rectangle right here in front? Do you see that it's 13 by 3? 13 times 3 is 39. How about this side right over here? You can see parts of it in here. So it looks kind of like a square, but it's really not. So this has, this part right here is 5. This right here is 3. So that rectangle would look like this. 5 by 3, which has an area of 15. And we have one more. Do you see this guy right here in the back? It would be 12 by 3, which is 36. There should be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're good to go. We're going to add these up. 30 plus 30 for the two triangles. 39, 15, and 36. Type those all in and you should end up with 150 meters squared. Whew. See you tomorrow.